Welcome to the Grand Canyon State. Arizona Stadium in Tucson as we are set for a showdown in the Arizona Bowl. Weeks of additional practice and prep for bowl games not only can set the tone for what we're going to see in this game, but for what might be in store next season as well. As we'll see a squad from the back, the Toledo Rockets, taking on a team from the Mountain West, the Wyoming Cowboys. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Kickoff team out there ready to tee it up in this bowl game. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the Wyoming Cowboys offense takes the field for the first time today. And as the game evolves into an aerial circus, sometimes you find a superstar running back like this guy. And when you got this guy, you ride this guy. You give him the ball, you run the football, you find ways to continue to feed him because he just gets stronger and better as the game goes on. For an offense, to make the wide receiver reverse work, you've got to have a lot of guys doing a good sell job. Running backs have to behave as if they're actually going to keep the football, and everybody else on offense has to be yelling out, run, to try to make the defense over-pursue, but no Oscars being handed out on that. The play-action fake. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. I tell you what, man, you, you better be looking at your puppy dog feet and seeing where they are, Palmer. You don't want to get back in that end zone and bad things happen when you get sacked. I don't know if you want to even risk this quarterback having to hold on for the foot to the football very much longer after watching that last play. This defense right now is pinning their ears back on this area of the field, and they are getting after him quick. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. They're strong and they're sprawled. Defensive tackles, they're sprawled. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance when you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. So the Toledo Rockets offense will get the ball for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Got three on first down and second and seven. Got his man in the middle. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. It's really easy to say the word RPO and say I'm going to run them, but you got to make those decisions and you got to make them fast. You can't get confused by all the craziness that's going on, by all the guys moving around or talking. Nice job by the quarterback staying in the moment, seeing it, throwing the slant, making sure he makes the right decision. On the ground, it's Stewart. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They go to the draw. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. David, given the fact that you are a devoted helmet head, I'm not sure that you're aware there are a lot of other festivities around the bowl game. Did you ever experience any of that? Of course I'm a helmet head. Yeah, spot on. Agree with that. But here's the thing. We did a meat-eating contest 
at the Outback Bowl my senior year. Which squad could eat more steak from Outback? It was absolutely amazing. So I experienced that in all of its glory. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. The Rockets are marching down the field. Power football with the run. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next down. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. And the Rockets will try to put one on the board on first and goal. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quick pass on the jet motion. Touchdown, Toledo! And they jump on top. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Picked up some yardage on the ground. Now here comes second down. Hand off from the gun. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. To the ground to try to pick up the first. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anymore. And the Cowboys will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Toledo has the ball. Here comes the offense. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. They'll try the run. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. 
They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Looking for a gap. It's Stewart. Sweet cut there. They ripped off seven on that one. Now a third down and three. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality. Offensive line gets to assert themselves. Run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to bully their way for the first. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. The Rockets send out the punt unit. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. And the punt hits ground at the two and goes into the end zone. He just missed, pinning them right in the shadow of the goalpost. It'll come out to the 20. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Scanning the field, it's Svoboda. Fires to the wideout. It's caught. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with the first down. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out working on those critical down and distances third downs and having that conversion this early in the game that's got to feel good for this offense the Cowboys will have it first and ten he wants to throw bought a little time lets it go just a little off incomplete Line getting set on second down. The give to the back. He picks up four. That'll leave them with third and six. Trying to pick up a first down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Firing to the right, complete. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Didn't get enough to move the sticks, but enough to leave them with the decision. And the defense did a great job. Understanding the sticks, rallying to the football, getting them on the ground, and you're right, Reese. Fourth and short, that means decision time, or for us, green light. Go for it. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. The Rockets offense is back on the field. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. They're trying to throw the wide receiver screen to pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed getting to the ball carry on that one. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. So they're facing third and short from the 25. to throw. It's Gleason. 
looking to the big tight end. It's caught downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Well, offensive coordinators put in countless hours every week trying to form me and use different personnel groupings, shifts and motions to give their offense a success on third down. You can tell in this game, this offensive coordinator, he has put in the work this week. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and he just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Newton. Strikes the blow. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. And the Rockets are moving quickly down the field. On the run, it's Stewart. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want. Okay, I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. Running back searching for a hole. Nice move there. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? Fast motion from the offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. And just went with something very easy, very reliable. Flip it forward, let your receiver do the rest. I only got to get a few yards. Nice job, nice execution. First down. The Rockets have it with a first and 10. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Shakes off the defender. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. After picking up a couple at second and eight. It'll be a draw. Knocked down after a gain of one to the 27. Third and long coming from the 27-yard line. You can make a field goal from here. Just don't take a negative play. They'll try to pop the draw. Got enough for the first. It's loose. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. And man, he got the first down. And I know all you probably say, hey, slide, get down. Don't take the hit. Don't fumble. But that guy's thinking touchdown. He's thinking I can break these tackles and try to make a play. Try to make a play. Got held up, coughed up the football, defense recovers, and that's a big blow for the offense. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Looking to throw, it's Svoboda. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. Oh, man, you don't see many of those anymore. Nowadays, the gloves are so good. The hands are so good. You don't see a lot of drop passes. Missed opportunity there for the receiver. 
This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Complete to the right. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. And the Cowboys line up to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. He'll feel the punt and try to get some yardage. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Guys, let's see what Toledo can get done on offense this time. This time, they need to take care of the ball and maybe extend this lead, David. And I think you've got to look at the positive reason. you still got the lead. Now take care of the football. Put a nice drive together, Jesse. You don't have to stress. We're still winning. I feel like they think that player for player, they're the better unit on the field right now. they just got to make more plays. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. He's looking to throw. Right through his hands. You just have to make that catch, and it'll be third down. All right. Drops are a part of football. It's a part of offense. What's really important for this quarterback now is to come back to the receiver, even after dropping that ball, to show him that you still got confidence in him, and you know it's a long game. A third and long coming up here. Back to throw. It's Gleason. Unloads to the wideout. Makes a connection. And a big-time grab there. Knocked down immediately, but not before he gets it to the 40. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Toledo has the lead. We've put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. Now on first down from the 40. Grab behind the line. It's Newton. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. I don't know if that's the coverage you want to be throwing wide receiver screens against. Oftentimes, you want the receivers to have some access. You want the DBs to be off a couple yards so you can help set up the blocks and give the receiver somewhere to go with it. It's hard to run that against press coverage, and they only picked up a few yards there. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Oh, he's going to try to hit him over the top. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. Woof. That's one of those plays where you're going, man, he probably could have made that. The defense wasn't great on the play, but guess what? It goes down as an incompletion. Those are one of those bullets that you've got to dodge throughout a game to get the win to limit those big plays. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive. And I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. And the Rockets will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. How about this? It's out of bounds inside the 10, and they're going to mark it right around the five-yard line. What a great job there. Hands it off. Pushes his way for a couple and gets it to the seven-yard line. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The run to the left. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. And he's brought down after a nice game. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. Ball spotted at the 21. It's first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Brown. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. 
This is no surprise to defenses anymore. Everybody throws wide receiver screens, and you could tell they were ready for it. They saw the quick game. They pounced on it, got the wide receiver on the ground. That's not the first time they've seen that. Route. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Trying play action. Throws for the tight end. Just too much mustard on that one. Can't miss the target that badly. Wow, this offense is doing nothing. They've already punted four times and staring at the possibility of a fifth. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33, and it's first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. Yeah, and he looked like he had the opportunity to secure that, obviously, open over the middle of the field, but you know how that works. Middle of the field, more defenders. Am I going to get whacked when I hit this thing? It makes those guys think a little bit. You see more drops over the middle of the field. Fires on the move. Had the pick in his hands and couldn't hang on, and you just won't see that from him very often. It'll be third down. The QB had all day to throw the football. That's the good news. The bad news is he couldn't find anybody open and couldn't deliver the ball to him. So let's see if they can get some chemistry going with the wide receiver and quarterback throughout this game. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. He'll take a deep shot here. And they won't make the connection looking to make a big play there. Well, on defense, they know that this offense is going to try and take shots. They're going to try and keep their secondary players in a position to make these types of plays. Good job on the back end forcing that incompletion. The Cowboys will line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Signals for the fair catch, and that's where they'll put it in play just outside the 20. Toledo has the ball. Here comes the offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Open a drive like that. It opens a world of possibilities. First down from the 43. Use the play fake, now to throw. Snagged in the middle, it's Newton. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. Nice confidence by the QB, good throw over the middle of the field. Nice little strike down the field for a big play. Listen, you gotta throw it where it's open. And he found a slot, found a little hole in the middle of the field. Nice job attacking. The Rockets racing to the line in the hurry up. Comes out throwing on first down. And the defense gets home and makes a play at the 37-yard line. And the offense sprung a big-time leak, and the quarterback went down. And when you're throwing the football, you're trying to stop the best athletes in the world from getting to your quarterback. They're going to get there. They're pinning their ears back. Get to the QB. Get the sack. really need to find a productive play this time on second and long. To the air, it's Gleason. Working that left side now. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. I know we're a long way up here in the booth, but guys, y'all remember that ball you could throw that whistled? That thing was whistling. It had so many RPMs on it. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. Throws to the wideout. And it's incomplete on third down. 
Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. They've decided to try to go for the field goal here. And they'll kick it from the left side, a 44-yard try. He got it. And now the lead is extended a little far. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive. And now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. On the run from inside his own five. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now and you score so quickly, it's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Motion from the offense. Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand, safety's got to see that, start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. And the Cowboys decide to punt it away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. The Rockets offense is back on the field. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. From the 47-yard line on first and 10, They'll give it to him again. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. That's caught. It's Stevens. And this defense has its work cut out to get this dude on the ground. He was shedding serious tackles on his way to picking up the first. All right, second quarter, getting closer to the half. Offense is still having a lot of success, stringing some first downs together. Defense is going to need to figure something out before they get to halftime. And the Rockets will hustle to the line. Looking to go up top on first down. And he drops it, just took his eye off of it at the last minute. Well, I don't know if the big fella got freaked out because he was so wide open on that play, but that is a catch he has got to make for his quarter. Offense gets set for second down. They'll run play action. With the catch, it's Stewart. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. 
A little less room to work with now as the ball is at the 28 and it's third and long. Back to throw, it's Gleason. Makes his connection. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. And this one will be a 40-yard try from the left hash. Splits the uprights. It's good. And that lead grows even bigger. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. What a hit by the defender. That's a good throw, and that was going to be caught, but how about the defender dislodging the football from its intended target? Nice job. After the misconnection, it's second down. Just goes right through the wicket and brings up third down. Man, he will be thinking about that one. Man, these slant routes, you throw them quick. It's a timing route. You've thrown three million of them to the wide receiver, and most of the time, he gets his hands up, and he catches it, keeps his body in the way. But right there, just lack of focus, lack of concentration, just drops the easy play. He's probably caught that ball 99% of the time it's been thrown to him. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. The Cowboys have it with a first and ten. From the gun. Give on the inside. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Here's the give off the left side. He's there to make the stop. Everybody talks about DBs, and they talk about dropping in coverage and not being physical. <laughs> that DB begs to differ. Great tackle coming up, playing physical like a linebacker. Here on third down. Now the play fake. Fires to the wideout. And they can't make the connection on third down. Really nice job by the defense, playing aggressive, understanding it could be a running situation, but still playing disciplined enough to play the pass and be successful on that third and short. And the Cowboys will bring the punt team onto the field. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Guys, let's see what Toledo can get done on offense this time. David, they had to settle for a field goal last time. Yeah, they moved the ball down the field, Jesse. Just couldn't put it in the end zone in that red area where they needed to be a little bit more efficient. I think they just got to do a little better job of executing on this drive, and let's see if they can punch it in for six this time. Still at their own 20 after that last incompletion. It's second and 10. Back to pass, it's Gleason. Looking left. Got his man. Building momentum, picking up a chunk of yardage, moving the chains out to the 34. 
it's really hard when you get in those predictable situations. Defenses are sitting on the sticks. Receivers have to understand where that first down marker is. Heads up play, nose for the first down marker. Get in there and get it. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. Well, that's disappointing for the offense because that's a play that you rep all week long in practice. You should be able to hit that one no problem. The QB receiver couldn't come up with a completion. And the incompletion brings up a second down. Off the play fake. Throws to the tight end. And he dropped it. Incomplete pass in what would have been a huge gain. No defender anywhere around. And he just flat dropped it. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking to the big tight end. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And the explosive play, and they're on the move all the way to the 44. And after that pitch and catch, he's already over 200 yards, and we're in the first half, Jesse. Man, Reese, he's dialed in right now. He's really doing a nice job seeing the field reading coverages and finding his open guy. The Rockets want to move quickly. Leaves it with the running back. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. Looking to throw, it's Gleason. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. You just got to have better concentration if you're the wide receiver. I know it feels like a routine completion. You still got to get two hands on the ball and look it in. That's a bad drop. They went up top on second and short. Surely they stick to the ground here on third and inches. Off play action. Fires to the middle. A strike downfield. And he'll run into the end zone. Touchdown, Rockets! Defense has to be better on the back end. They knew this offense was going to come out, and they were going to challenge them. They were going to try to push the ball vertically down the field. They've now given up two touchdown passes in this game. They have got to shore up their play in the back half. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and the lead moves to 20. They put together an 81-yard drive, and the score comes on a 35-yard pass for six. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he'll bring it back. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point, Dave. Yeah, nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now, chip into this lead, try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to the half. The RPO, fire complete to the left. And they pick up just a few on that completion. So it's third and long, and this quarterback right now has got to be expecting pressure. So you want to know where your hot routes are. you got to know where your best one-on-one -on -one matchup is. But understand this. We're still in the first half. If the defense gets you, tip of the cap. You can take a sack. Punting the football at this stage of the game is okay. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. 
quickly out to the tight end. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. They've been overwhelmed so far in this first half, but if they could muster a score, maybe a glimmer of hope. Yeah, and I know it's been a struggle. They, they've been struggling this whole game, but let's get something positive going into halftime. Coaches won't yell at you as much, but they got the first first down. Now let's put the pedal to the floor, go a little faster, cut into this lead. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. After the miscue, first and 15 for this offense. Give to the back. Tried to fight his way through that tackle, but he's brought down. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. This offense has a second down play. The play action fake. Unloads to the wide out. That pass is incomplete. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two minute warning. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. The Cowboys will call on their punt team. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Fair catch called for and made. Toledo has the ball. Here comes the offense. They've been outstanding here in this first half. Might as well try for the knockout punch, David. Yeah, confidence has to be at an all-time high. Great first half. I'm going to get more. Palmer. I'm not scared with the lead when I got the football lead. Yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You can see the quarterback's body language. He wants to go. He wants to go tempo. He wants to take shots. They're trying to light this scoreboard up. Let's see what they've got on second down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. This time, he's got his man. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. And that's a really nice route by the wide receiver. Just understanding, I got to win right now. I got to get inside of that guy. And I know I'm going to get contact. You run into the middle field on the slant, you're going to get hit. Nice job securing the catch, making the play. Now they've moved it just inside the 40. First and 10 from the 39. Getting some heat. Strong pass rush gets to the quarterback and they get him at the 46. You want to change some of this bad luck you've had so far around? Get after the quarterback and get his butt on the ground. Nice job by the defense. This game ain't over. It's still the first half. This is a good start. That offense having to deal with the last thing you want on first down, giving up a sack as they come up to the line on second down. Throws to the wideout. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. The play caller, you feel confident throwing this out to the perimeter against zone coverage when you have that kind of timing and chemistry. This quarterback and receiver, you saw it on that one. And the Rockets getting set on first and 10. He's going to pass. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. Come on, receiver. You can make that play. You do it all the time in practice. Don't come out here on game day and start getting big eyes under the big lights. you got to make that catch. Let's see if they go back to the air on second and 10 from the 28. Back to pass. It's Gleason. Throws to the back. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. And listen, I think the offense did a really good job isolating that running back on a linebacker, running the angle route, had him open. Running back's there. You got to make that play, man. Had a chance after the catch to do some damage. 
On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Right down the middle. Makes the grab. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. Wants to throw on first down. Can't hold on. He had it right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. I like the idea by the quarterback. He wanted to attack the middle of the field. He found his open guy. The receiver's just got to be able to make a play for him. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He's back to throw on second down. Almost had the completion. Just missed it. Well, man, I mean, you don't get more wide open than that, right? Big fella running down the field. Nobody near him. Quarterback puts it on him. Just got to make the catch. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Trying play action. Into the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Really nice third down sub defense there that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass and they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback. Now forcing the incompletion setting up fourth. And this kicker has had a busy night. The field goal unit is out there for the third time. It's good. Easy call for the ref. And they'll push that lead out a little further. So they get the field goal, now about to kick it away, and you get a stop here, and you go to halftime feeling really good about things. On the move from inside is five. And the ball pops out. Oh, inviting disaster. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. The Rockets offense is back on the field. They're already in great field goal position here, David. The question is, how aggressive do they get? The full throttle. Be aggressive. Try to get the touchdown here, man. Such great starting field position. It's just going to take one play, right? They've got the weapons outside. Give a guy an opportunity to make a play in the end zone. Think about the momentum change that would create. He leaves it with his back. Touchdown, Toledo! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Well, just as you would expect, that didn't take very long. It didn't, Reese, and you've got to make great field position count. When you've got opportunities, you got to pay it off. And the offense took advantage, scoring a touchdown. Didn't have far to go, but they got the points they needed. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They got the ball in great field position, and bam, bam, two plays and into the end zone. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They'll go to the counter. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks for the first down. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Looking for a man. It's Svoboda. They're trying to get to it. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack.
We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, fellas. The end of a very entertaining first two quarters of football in Tucson and an intriguing Arizona Bowl. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. With that said, let's send it back to Reese and the guys for the conclusion of the Arizona Bowl. And the Cowboys will kick it away to crank up the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day, so been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, man. It's a big <laughs> deal today in college football, no doubt. Now, listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far from over. On second down, he'll let it fly. And his throw is incomplete. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Yeah, and he had an opportunity to make such a big play. Listen, he wasn't wide open with nobody around him, but you got to make that play. You got a little bit of space. You got to haul that in, make your quarterback look good, and make a big play for this offense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way surprisingly makes a fair catch just outside the 40-yard line. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. The give to the back. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. I think one of the hardest things to do is stick to the run when it's not working. But it's those runs right there that are the reason why you have to do it, right? You can't get too one-dimensional. Keep slipping those runs in there. Keep getting a little bit of positive yards. Next thing you know, you'll look up and you might break one of those after you got them a little bit tired. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. And he's got it inside the 20. And he gets it down to the four-yard line before he's finally stopped a terrific run after the catch. Well, if they're going to get back in this game, they need more plays like that. That was something that was missing in the first half. Explosive plays in the passing game, and they get one here trailing early in the third quarter. Let's see if these receivers can make more plays like that as this game goes on. The Cowboys have it in scoring position on first and goal. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They've moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. They'll try to power it in. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys! Oh, the offense shows some life here and cuts into the lead with that score. And, man, they needed it. They had to have something to go right. Listen, still down, but this is a great start to getting back in this ball. They'll try to tack one more on their score. 
hit that one with some aggression for the point after. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll start the return inside his spot. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Guys, let's see what Toledo can get done on offense this time. They're going to test that run defense to the right here. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. No doubt offense wants to keep running the football to win this game, but I'm wondering if they're starting to go to the well too often. we got to start showing some new wrinkles here in the second not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. To the air, it's Gleason. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards. Still some time left, and he can put up even bigger numbers. And heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up a day. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Snapped it in the shotgun. Can't make the catch, and it'll be third down. He had that thing and just lost his concentration. You know, sometimes wide receivers are so eager to get up field once they have the ball. They take their eyes away. You really got to do a good job looking it in and securing the catch. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. From the gun, wants to pass. Complete to the right. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. Just beautiful, and that's a great feeling as a quarterback when you make that throw. It keeps your offense on the field, keeps the offense in rhythm. Obviously, not as good as throwing a touchdown pass, but I'll tell you this, way better than having to trot up over to the bench and wait for your turn to get another shot. They're going to run it. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Yeah, and listen, the offense has had their way, and they've had so much success and so much production. But listen, at least the defense got a rep. You know, maybe this gets you some a spark. Maybe this gets you some energy. Maybe we'll see a little bit more life from this defense. Yeah, they may not win the game, but I think this defensive coaching staff at this point, based on how this game has gone, they're just trying to find things to build off of. Maybe that's something they can point to as they get ready for their next opponent of things they did right and things that they got to do more consistently moving forward. Play number seven on this drive, and it'll be third and two. Back to throw. It's Gleason. Finds a tight end. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. Defense is about learning the plays. Third down, what do they like to do? How do they do it? So far, the offense having a little bit of success, but the defense now got to figure out what they're doing. The Rockets will snap it on first and ten. They think there's room to run to the right here. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop it. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. He's looking to throw. That, friends, is a busted play. Incomplete. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three.
He'll keep it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I'll tell you, this is a hard defense to run against if you're going to go sideline to sideline because of that guy's speed at linebacker. He can get all the way to the perimeter, chase the quarterback down on the option, and make the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Impressive. This field goal unit getting some serious run. They've already been out there three times. A kicker will try it again. Splits the uprights right down the middle. And now the lead is even bigger. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. He'll bring it out. It's Hobbs. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Wide out in motion. Little touch pass to the receiver. And they pick up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Man, the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, they've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. On the run, it's Svoboda. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. And now let's see if the offense can bail itself out after the second down misfire. They'll throw on third and short. Catch in the middle, it's Brown. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33 and it's first down. Third and short, and I guess the only thing they really took out of play in the shotgun was the quarterback sneak. Yeah, and that's kind of what I like to do, Reese. I mean, third and inches, I, I want to run the quarterback sneak, run the football, but this team fully comfortable throwing the football, and you see why. Easy pitch, easy catch, first down. Wide receiver shows motion. But jet sweep pass. Pass the sticks, and he may get more. Found a bunch of room and got it to the 44-yard line. Touch passes, it's so hard because there's always action off of it, right? If I fake this pass and I can run it up the gut or I can throw it and I just spread me out and make me defend so many things, and you could tell they got on the edge quickly, got the big first down. And the Cowboys are moving quickly down the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Can't hang on, it's incomplete. I think he was bracing for the hit and didn't hang on to the football. And that's one the offense just needs to be able to hit, right? That's a completion they should be able to hit in their sleep. Receiver's got to do a better job. Now second and ten. The pull and throw off the RPO. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Let's see what they do on third down. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. Pressure coming. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. All right, this offense needs to come up with a solution for this defensive end because he is a problem. They have got to find a way to help out the offensive tackle to prevent this guy from getting to the quarterback. The Cowboys will punt this one away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. It'll go out of bounds, and we'll see where they mark it. It's going to be right around the 35. Toledo has the ball. Here comes the offense. 
So last time, David, they ate up some clock, ran a bunch of plays, but settled for the field goal. Yeah, but they're still up, Reese, and I like where I'm at. And if I'm on offense right now, my job is to put another long drive together, eat more clock, and get another score. Just got to be better in the red zone this time around. When they get down close to the goal line, you need better execution to put a touchdown on the board here. Couldn't make the connection on first down. Now here on second. They'll run play action. Going downfield for the big play. Holds it in on the left. Touchdown, Rockets! And the beatdown has ensued. A lot of times you see those receivers, as soon as they get by the DBs, you know, that hand goes straight up in the air. I got him. I got a step on him. He got a step on him. And the ball was thrown perfectly out in front. And you can see he runs underneath it, gets it, and gets the long touchdown on the go route. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. On first down from their own 22. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Going up top on first down. Takes the easy completion. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and I got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on you. Set up for second and short after that completion. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Now the play fake. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. And this has been the story of the night. The offensive line getting beat up. And this is why this team is losing. you got to protect your quarterback. This defense has had a field day with their fifth sack of the game. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Trying to get behind the defense. Couldn't quite haul it in. They almost had their first pick here late in the game. Man, what a break on the football. He read that the whole way. He just couldn't finish it. You know he saw the end zone. He saw the grass in front of him to break on that and maybe take it to the house, but just a missed opportunity. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Just needs a crack to get a return. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. The Rockets offense is back on the field. They'll run this one off right tackle. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Unloads quickly. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. 
And the defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. It's a draw. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. And the Rockets will try to pin them back with the punt. And the returner will be knocked down. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To the air. It's Svoboda. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Now the defense has got it, and they're going the other way. Touchdown, Toledo. Don't just get the ball. Score with the ball, and the defense did. And the defense comes with the blitz. Nice job getting to the quarterback. And don't just get there. Try to strip that football out. They get the QB to the ground. The ball's out. They scoop it up, take it all the way back to the house for six. Getting set for the point after. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. The kickoff team just about set to go, and that defense is eager to get back out there after the scoop and score. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Got his man on the outside. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. You know, as a quarterback, you believe in your matchup. And in my running back, if I can get him the ball in space, he's going to win a lot of times. He did in that time. The defense was ready. Nice job in the open field making the nice tackle. Lost a fire on second down. Quickly to the tight end. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackling. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. To the air, it's Svoboda. Completes it in the middle. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Well, this offense knew coming into this game, they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. And the Cowboys will send out the punt unit. They'll look to pin him deep. He'll call for the fair catch here. Guys, let's see what Toledo can get done on offense this time. Caught over the middle, it's Torres. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. They'll run it from the gun. And the first guy couldn't get him, but the second one does, but not until he picks up the first down. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it, get the first down, don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. 
looking for a physical attack from the gun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. I wonder if I can quote the great Reese Davis. That was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Toledo has the lead. Well, guys, so far, this has been a massive beatdown, and it would appear the biggest challenge is what kind of records can they set as we have a look at the third quarter stats. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. Going with the counterplay here. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. And they just kind of sneak that one in there as a defensive guy, third and five plus. I'm thinking pass. They were thinking pass, Palmer, and they slipped the run. And it's so nice then to have this guy at running back too, right? Because you could throw it to him on third down or hand it off. And he's got the vision and the athleticism to go pick up that first, keep the drive going. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. I know the passing game sells, the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. On the ground, it's Stewart. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Play number seven on this drive, and it'll be third and two. Off the RPO, fire right, trying to convert. He couldn't find anywhere to go, and now it's fourth down. I mean, getting suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle for a loss. They really have no choice here. This is a no-brainer. You go for it here on this fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Quickly complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. The metrics tell you so often, go ahead, go for it on fourth down, and it pays off there. That just shows you the head coach's confidence in his quarterback to go out on a critical fourth down and execute. The Rockets come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They go to the ground. Got the first down and more. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're on offense. You have the lead, you want to chew the clock, keep the ball on the ground, keep that thing just ticking, Palmer. They're just imposing their will, Dave, and that's something that we've seen, I think, all game. Up front, they've been the more physical team. They're the ones that's getting pushed and that's getting movement, and it's carrying over all the way here deep into the fourth quarter. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. They'll test the right side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
Well, this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments, find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? That's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. Well, that's just piling on. Not the penalty kind, just the mean kind. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. Bringing it out. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Wyoming takes over the football, and the Cowboy offense on its way out. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. You see an incompletion there. I think a big reason why this team is in such a hole right now in the fourth quarter is they have just not been able to find the explosive plays throwing the ball. And you got to wonder at this point, is it too little too late? Second and ten here. Off the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. Complete downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Fast motion from the offense. Looking for a man. It's Svoboda. Fires left. And that one's incomplete. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. You've got a great game playing all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. Back to the air one more time. Grabbed over the middle. It's Brown. Pick up a five. It'll be third down and five. Hey, and quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the tight end. Now they're starting to feel it. They've got a first down at the 44. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hands. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Really need positive yards on second down. After the incompletion, they'll snap it from the 44. He's got it. It's nice to get a quarterback an easy completion like that, but it's nicer if they can go forward and they did not that time Jesse they did not know the defense was just better at the point of attack look at all these defenders shedding blocks and then getting hats to the football that's impressive third down conversions are a huge stat and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off wants to throw it's Svoboda unloads it left it's complete he will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And the best thing about this, the offense can't worry about the scoreboard. Just keep trying to make plays like that, Jesse. I know a lot of people in the stadium probably feel like this game is over. Maybe it's been over for a while, Reese, but don't tell that to this quarterback and his teammates. They're still out there scrapping and clawing. 
motion from the offense. Quarterback run is part of their game plan. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. You know, this offensive line, they just got to hold their blocks a little bit longer. This offense likes to run their quarterback on design plays. And if you can just give him a little crease, he can take it the distance, but they couldn't get it done there. From the gun, running back on the move. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's been that kind of day for this offense, right? It seems like anything they're dialing up just simply isn't working. But at this point, David, I don't know if it's even worth trying to run the ball. Probably not. You're getting destroyed right now. Nothing has gone your way. And when you're down this much, I, I think the running game is used sporadically, not as a staple. Let's throw this football around and see what can happen. From the gun, the ground game. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. It's good. And they'll put three on the board, but the deficit remains huge. And I know a lot of people are scratching their heads why they try to kick that field goal. You're in the fourth quarter. You're down a boatload of points. A field goal isn't going to do it. If you want to win this game, you need touchdowns. I would anticipate for every possession they get from here on out, man, you've got to be way more aggressive. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. And no chance at a return. Here they'll start this drive at their own 25. Toledo has the ball. Here comes the offense. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step, too, here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Got it in the middle. It's Newton. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. A third down try for the offense. He'll try to pick it up on the ground. Tackled, but he has a first down. Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load and... He has delivered for his offense all game long. They'll run it. Runs for the tackle. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. to the ground with the back and the defense holds firm no pickup at all on that play awesome job up front by this defensive line being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free unencumbered and get to the football a chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long this one from the 44 and excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious the defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. 
Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. The give to the tailback. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They've made clutch, tough plays on this drive on third down. They need one more on third and seven. Looking to pass. It's Gleason. And he dropped it. Just didn't look the thing all the way in. Good. Wide open. Big play opportunity. Hits him right between the numbers. you got to make that play. Those are one of those where I, I tap my helmet like, dude, that, that was me. That was on me. My bad. Give me another opportunity later on. And the Rockets send out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. And that is textbook instructional video. Out of bounds right around the goal line. Here's the handoff. He has the first and still on his feet. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. The offense lines up at its own 14-yard line. First down. He's looking to throw it. He looks that one in nicely. And I know this football game is over, but we got to keep fighting. We got to keep finding something, some kind of rhythm in this offense, something we can hang our hat on that we do really, really well. Listen, the intermediate passing game like this has taken over college football, short to intermediate. So if they can find some of this, it'll help their offense moving forward. After the first down completion, it's second and short. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell. They were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game today. They turn to the passing game on third and short. The quick out. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. It's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw, it's Svoboda. Finds his tight end. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. And this game is obviously out of hand. And, but I think the fans would argue, too, at this point, like, all right, well, let's not throw checkdowns, right? Let, let's throw some deep balls and continue to open up this offense and keep fighting. I think that's what you want to see. You want to see your squad not quit. Keep fighting until the very end of the football game. Shoots it to the left. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. And you see on that play the confidence that he has in that playmaker on the perimeter of the field. He's already had a couple catches in this game. It seems like he... Now, we'll hang on here. The coach has called a timeout. He wants the officials to take another look. Thinks he's got a good shot at getting this one overturned. The coach still thinks he was right. The officials say he was not. The challenge is denied, and the timeout is gone. The Cowboys will line it up on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the wideout. That is just a sideline credit. Roll, catch, toe drag, everything you want. This quarterback has been really good today. Has been on top of it, seeing things really, really well. That pass right there put him over the 300-yard mark. That's a pretty good day. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. He wants to throw. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. 
And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're gonna show in the film room that people aren't gonna like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. This time he's got it. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. And this offense is going to have to find more explosive plays. And it's, it's, it can't just rely on the dink and dunk. It's going to have to find itself and score more points. Listen, they got beat up today. But moving on in the future, they've got some good pieces. they got to find a way to fit them together, create some explosive plays on this offense, because today they've been lacking. Tosses it incomplete. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. No good. The idea was to draw just a tad closer. Instead, the mountain is still enormous. Rockets offense is back on the field. Now the chance to take a knee and just put the finishing touches on this victory. Yeah, and this offense has done their job, man. They've been so productive, built the lead. Listen, their defense has pulled their weight as well. But now, Jesse, you get to exhale, you get to breathe, and you know we got the W, and we played well. And we got to think about where we're taking our girlfriend and parents for dinner, right? What side are we ordering with our giant steak? We've earned it in this game. Now it's time to go celebrate.